has been really fantastic. Thank you so much. But I have to ask one more thing. Do you have any closing words of advice for us? I do. <laughs> and that would be that it's very important as a leader to have a very powerful learning capacity. Mm -hmm. And when we were doing a study of high potentials, these are individuals who, over their career, continue to adapt and learn and go on to very successful leadership roles. One of the characteristics they all shared in common is what we call catalytic learning capacity. Mm -hmm. In other words, they were keen learners. And what's very important about them is they weren't just into learning, but they are into taking the learning and making it into something. So there was a study done at the Center for Creative Leadership in which they looked at people who were good learners. But they discovered there's a whole group of them who did nothing with their learnings. Oh, and they didn't do anything, and so they actually didn't have much of an impact. What so, does it mean? That they knew something new but didn't use it? Or didn't act I upon it. I see. Whereas our high potentials actually would take the learning uh -huh. as a catalyst to do something. And one of the individuals we studied, he's a wonderful illustration of this. Um, he ran a, a fairly significant group in India, young high potential in his 30s, for a Swiss company a medical products company, and he was invited to a strategic planning meeting in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So he came over, but he decided to stay a week longer, and he spent that week with the U.S. sales force, traveling around with the top salespeople, learning how they did what they did. Mm -hmm. And during that week, he learned all sorts of techniques. And more importantly, he said, gosh, you know, the U.S. sales force has really figured out some things that we have not in India. So when he flew back, he created a sales force competency model, which he implemented within about four weeks, as well as he borrowed a lot of the innovations he learned in the U.S. and put them in place literally within a few weeks upon getting home. Now, you can think about that meeting probably had 40 or 50 other young high potential managers attend the meeting. Vineet was the only one who stayed on, learned, and brought the learnings back to India to take his business to the next level. Mm -hmm. Catalytic learning capacity. And one of the kind of very important, really enormous stumbling blocks is your ability as a more senior leader to believe that you've figured it all out and there's nothing to learn. That actually will that potentially sets you up for one of the biggest falls in your career. And we're in this amazingly dynamic age, and uh, you have to stay a keen learner, and you have to be able to use that learning quickly to readapt. And by the way, it's lots of fun to be a learner, and it's even more fun to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. taking the learning and make something out of it.